Hi everyone, welcome back to the Rayo Moon Oracle. I'm Rayo, and today we are continuing our Tarot Discovery series with card number two, the High Priestess. Um, so, got a few changes here, so I got a new camera, which hopefully will make the quality a little bit better, so I'm super excited about that. Okay, let's get started. So, we are continuing with the High Priestess, which is card number two in the Major Arcana. Uh, we are continuing the Fool's journey through life and the Fool in his last in their last journey. Um, last piece of the puzzle met the Magician, who is that divine, um, powerful masculine, that active force. And now he meets the counter to that, which is the Feminine, or High Priestess, who is that more passive, subconscious, uh, powerful energy. Equal in power and um, magic and might to the Magician, but the female counterpart to that. And coming at that knowledge and in, um, intuition and wisdom through a different means, a different way, uh, where the Magician is very active and learned and logical. The High Priestess, by comparison, is very mystical, intuition-based um, feeling and emotions, right? So the original Rider Way imagery, uh, we have a feminine figure in a very nice big blue robe. Uh, they are holding a, um, what's the word for it? A uh, scroll for it that has lots of um, information and knowledge attached to it. They are standing in front of, or like sitting in front of this, like what looks like a doorway between two pillars. So we see her in front of these two pillars, um, one's black and one's white, and that kind of represents the duality of nature, um, that positive and negative, that masculine and feminine, um, and with the card being the second card in the Major Arcana too, they're representing that duality as well. Uh, yeah, so we see the temple in the original Rider Way imagery. We see different uh, symbology that represents the divine feminine. Uh, the pomegranates is in there, the crescent moon at her feet. Those are both representative uh, symbology for femininity. So a very strong card. And today uh, I only pulled three cards from different decks I have. Um, deck we have not seen before and uh, two that we have seen. So I've pulled cards from the Lightseer's Tarot, this new one I have received called the Tarot of Opposites, and the um, High Priestess from the Centimorte deck. So I'll show you guys those real quick, but first we're going to go into the keywords for the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is representative of intuition, sacred knowledge, wisdom. Uh, she is usually a seer. Um, definitely a lot of emotions and that emotion turning into ideas and knowledge. Uh, healing, we've got also the elements again, all four elements since this is also our counter to the magician card. Um, what comes with that subconscious energy is psychic energy as well, mystery, um, that, that dream realm, secrets, and instinct, that deep like intuition instinct comes out of the High Priestess card. Uh, with it being the second card in the Major Arcana, we also have the numerology meaning of the number two, uh, which is going to be balance, uh, duality, uh, partnership as well, uh, that positive and negative, that balancing, um, and that like active, active, passive, conscious, subconscious, right? Those are all parts of the duality of the number two. So our cards that we've pulled for the High Priestess, uh, I have the High Priestess from the Light Seer's Tarot. Uh, so in the Light Seer's Tarot for the High Priestess, um, up in the top we kind of see her also um, looks like in front of like a veil or like an entryway. Uh, we see some what looks like rune symbols on the top. Um, I'm not super studied up on my runes, um, but we see four different runes on the top. Uh, she also has the moon symbology that we see in the original right away with the crescent moon on her uh, crown right there. Mm -hmm. We see that blue robe again, uh, that is symbol uh, in the original right away imagery with the cross on her chest. Uh, something I think that is interesting to note for this card is she has her eyes closed. So um, that is not seen in the other cards I have, but her, in my 
thoughts, her having her eyes closed represents her connecting to that deeper intuition, that deeper spirituality. Mm, let's see, what else for her? Ooh, something I just noticed, her earrings look like the scrolls. So the scrolls um, or books that the high priestess is generally shown as holding, we see what looks like scrolls, those are earrings, and I think that's really interesting. Um, a different interpretation so the knowledge her not holding him but her it almost being a part of her right i think that's an interesting one mm -hmm. you see what looks like a little bit of flower imagery in the like little like beads on her um outfit as well but she this card to me just feels like she's really connected with that spiritual energy Okay. Uh, the next card I pulled is that um, the High Priestess from the Tarot of Opposites. So this one's an interesting one. Uh, this one has the positive and negative on the card itself. Um, so I, I'll kind of hold it this way. So we see the positive aspect of the High Priestess and then the negative aspect of the High Priestess in this card. Um, so that duality represented just in the card, but this is in how this tarot deck goes, where it has the positive and negative on both card, the card on both sides. So positive aspect of the High Priestess, this uh, imagery is very similar to the original Rider Way imagery, at least on the positives. So we see her holding the scroll, she's in that blue robe again, we see the two pillars, that white and black pillar. Um, something to note, I think that is interesting. For this high priestess and her counter with the negative or reverse high priestess is the positive one is wearing shoes and then if you flip her to the other side the uh, negative I don't know that's I'm not sure if that's gonna be the best wording in the long run but the uh, reverse priestess high priestess is not wearing shoes so the reverse high priestess in this case will come back to for some of those negative aspects uh, but let's see what else Yep, no, the imagery is very similar to the original Rider Way. Uh, so we see them sitting on that crescent moon again. The positive high priestess is sitting in it with it holding her. Uh, the reverse high priestess is sitting uh, with it reversed. So that's interesting. Reminds me of Sailor Moon a little bit. The negative, right, uh, Sailor Scouts or the Sailor... Um, counterparts that have the reverse moon and sailor moon and her just having the positive moon well that's the tarot of opposites and then last card is the high priestess from the santa morte deck so she she's strong feeling uh, we see that moon imagery again she looks like she's holding a key in her hand one hand and then the other hand is holding a book uh, her looking and reading that sacred knowledge that she has access to um, some more flower imagery in her sitting um, looks like she's studying and she well she looks like she's on a throne right she looks like she's on a throne and is representative of the knowledge she has access to we see what looks like, I don't know if it's a bat or something up in the corner there, but uh, I guess a friend looking out a bird. Oh, I see a wing right there, so probably some type of bird. Looking out with her. I uh, can't tell what she's reading. Um, I like that her foot's also on the moon that she's kind of sitting in. Everything looks very sharp, so she feels like a powerful figure because her throne has swords around her head and that moon that her foot is on looks sharp <laughs> looks like it could cut you so she has um at any given point she's just going to use the knowledge she has to interact with you cut you down a peg if you need it <laughs> um i like her clothing in this one though so we've got that like blue but we also got some other colors in there for the santa morte mm, let's see She looks like she like might be in the temple, in that temple, because we see like glyphs imagery on in the backgrounds in kind of a pattern as well. So it looks like some like temple wall. Hmm. Okay. So and that's the Santa Muerte High Priestess. So uh 
some common imagery that we've seen is the um, like tarot, not the tarot, the scroll or a book, uh, something that represents that knowledge. Um, this can also be seen like, let's see. So I think if we include the um, Lightseer's Tarot with her earrings being scrolls, because that's what they look like to me now, um, we have that imagery of like a book or knowledge that the priestess is holding through all the cards and in the original deck. Uh, there's definitely a lot of moon imagery, water imagery um, with those cards. We see the moon in every single deck, every single card. Uh, so that's that subconscious, that is our um, subconscious mind, our dreaming mind, um, and our emotions. So other meanings I give the High Priestess card. Um, we've got like sensuality and sensitivity as well with that feminine energy. Um, it goes beyond logic with the magician being that logic base. Uh, this is a different form to gain knowledge, right? So that's that, again, that intuition, that um, instinct, um, things that don't come from the mind, they come from other places, the heart maybe, or um, the body, the emotions. Um, something I wrote in here is slight danger in knowledge and I think that's very representative in the Santa Muerte High Priestess where she looks powerful there's some danger to the knowledge she has and she will use it if she has to um, with the all the high priestesses kind of being in front of a temple potentially or in the temple we have that hidden realms imagery um, and like the high priestess generally guards knowledge too she's not you don't have access to that knowledge until you have a certain level or have a certain ability to um with that there comes a lot of deep healing and inner truth and uh the high priestess ends up being that gatekeeper uh that gatekeeper for that deeper knowledge that hidden knowledge that mystical knowledge uh, other words I have is fertility, uh, simplicity, patience, and practice. Uh, passive but potential at the same time. So if the magician is a very active energy and actively learning, the high priestess in the reverse of that, the opposite of that is that my passive observing, gaining knowledge through different means. Mm. And then we come to the reversals. So again, for those who have just stumbled across this video series for the first time, uh, we can read reversals in my experience in one of two ways. You can read reversals as too much or an overabundance of the energy or a lack of the energy and it not being present at all and needing to be there. So if we are looking at an overabundance, of high priestess energy we end up with uh, secret keeping um, that becomes harmful uh, we get bad secrets and we are we maybe end up aloof or too woke um, and it comes from more of an ego place uh, an arrogance place um, like come with very similar energy to the magician right where it's like you can end up arrogant from the knowledge you have you can be um, overbearing you can use your knowledge in a negative way to that harms others all those kind of come from that high priestess in reverse energy and overabundance of high priestess energy um, if we are lacking that high priestess energy uh, we can be disconnected from ourselves disconnected from our intuition we can be very withdrawn to a deadly extent well, not quite deadly, but to a detrimental extent, um, to withdrawn. We can be, yeah, again, ignoring our intuition. We can be isolating ourselves. Um, we can be not grounded anymore. So that knowledge usually has to stay very grounded. And going back to the um, high priestess in the tarot of opposites, we see she doesn't have shoes on. So the high priestess in the um, reverse, the positive side the, of the card, she has shoes on. And the high priestess in the reverse does not have those shoes on and is therefore not grounded. Um, and she seems more aloof and 
laissez-faire about everything. She doesn't take seriously the knowledge that she has and her abilities. So yeah, I have two heady equals no grounding. <laughs> Mm. Let's see, anything else? Mm. No? That is all I have for the High Priestess in reverse. So again, we got those two sides with too much High Priestess energy or not enough High Priestess energy for reversals. Okay. So that is the High Priestess card in the Major Arcana in our Tarot Discovery series. Uh, that's all I have for everyone today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to get back to you. Uh, and I hope to see you guys in another video. Please like and subscribe if you like my content and want to see more of it. Thank you everyone, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.